There are um, 24 microscopic tumors on that device. So we can test multiple drugs against multiple tumors. I always feel like I'm going too slow. I'm not working hard enough. I should work faster. To family members that had to deal with stage four cancer, uh, which, I mean, at that point, there's no treatments left or very little treatments. And um, that's hard. When Nayla came to the lab about um, six years ago, she had this idea that if we could get them inside the cell, we could manipulate the pathways that she'd been studying for her PhD. They have figured out a way, they think, to deliver therapeutics directly into cancer tumors. You can imagine what a game changer that is. I'd worked on this protein that had tremendous potential in cancer, but the current treatment modalities were not going to work. And so I thought, well, why don't we combine it with bacteria? So I wrote to Neil and I was like, look, this is my idea. And then I started working here. So she created this system where um, salmonella would invade inside cells and then release something once they got there. And this has kind of taken off. And we're now trying to target both breast and liver cancer. Amazing. Watch this one. There. Have we caught that before? No. The way I see this institute is at capitalizing on the strength of good basic science and asking the next question, which is, how could this help people in our lifetime? I'd say almost every aspect of this building is designed and being used to allow that to happen. I'm excited to have MassBio, one of the largest industry associations working with us in Isles. And I think MassBio is that essential connection that will help me get my science in front of investors. The other thing that is special are the collaboratories. We call it an IP-free zone. If you invent something there as a company, it's yours as a company, but you're also right down the hall from the experts on the faculty, you're right down the hall from the core facilities you may want to use, and you're right down the hall from stopping into my office to talk things over. I think they're essential to give me that necessary input um, to grow and become a full-fledged life science company. The campus has invested heavily 50, 60 million dollars worth of cutting edge equipment, all housed in individual facilities that are accessible to everyone on campus, every faculty or student in the region, and every industry in the region has an open door policy to use this wealth of equipment. It's just very satisfying to think you've helped somebody.